I had just gotten out of a long-term relationship when I, a 34-year-old male met my wife, a 35-year-old female, it hadn't been a traumatic breakup, the two of us were just growing apart and wanted different things out of life. So we decided it was better to break up. A few months after that breakup, I bumped into a woman who introduced herself as Katie. We started talking in a coffee shop and hit it off. When we exchanged numbers, I did warn her that I had just gotten out of a serious relationship, which meant I wasn't ready for anything serious or anything at all. She waited until I was ready, which was pretty amazing for me. I thought that a woman willing to wait for me must have interested me. Right? It ended up not being the case, but at the time, it truly did seem like I found someone good for me. We took it slow and within a year and a half the two of us were moving in together. After another six months, I proposed and we were planning a wedding. The wedding went off without a hitch. The two of us were financially stable. At the time of our wedding, I had a decent job and so did my wife. While we might not have been as rich as the 1%, the two of could be considered middle class at the very least. Our relationship was also good, we had our ups and downs, but we truly did seem to be creating a great life together. For the first three years, everything seemed great until my wife started working on a particular project at work that was difficult or this was what I thought at the time. She was working long hours and just spending a lot of time out of the house. I missed her, but when I understood that she was busy at work, I supported her. I kept asking when she would be finished, but my wife kept extending the deadline. This has been going on for nearly six months now. It made no sense why she would still be spending all these late nights at work. It got to the point where I couldn't deny that something wasn't right, so I went on to her laptop that she had brought home from work. Her home laptop didn't have anything. I already checked. This meant the evidence had to be there. I didn't know what evidence I was looking for, but I knew there had to be something on her laptop that would explain to me what was going on. On her laptop, I found several emails from an email account I didn't even know she had. On this email were dozens of emails were shared between this unknown man. They were all of a romantic or sexual nature, which only confirmed the truth that I was afraid to admit to myself she was cheating on me. When she came back home from picking up dinner for us, I had the laptop out in the open with the emails right there so she could see that I knew everything. My wife didn't say anything at first. She looked like she was in shock. So I took the chance to ask her who was the guy she was cheating with. My wife screamed saying I had no right to go into her work laptop because that contained confidential information. I almost wanted to laugh because she had been the one to use her work laptop to talk with this guy. So I asked again. He was a former client of the office that she had continued speaking to even after the contract ended. One thing led to another and they started sleeping together. I asked if she had feelings for him. She said yes. My wife said she was going to eventually tell me that she wanted a divorce so she could move on and be with this man. Once I did a little digging, I discovered this man was very rich. When I say rich, I mean filthy stinking rich. She always loved the finer things in life, but seemed like she wanted to work towards it. I couldn't understand the shift in her personality. Maybe it had always been there and I was so blinded by my love for her that I just wasn't able to see it. Whatever the reason I knew this marriage was over, my wife fought it for a bit, but I think she was only doing this because she felt like it was what she had to do. The divorce seemed to take a long time to come to fruition, but in reality, it was just a matter of months. She went one way and I went another. A divorce never was on my radar yet here I was newly divorced and alone. My ex-wife already had someone in mind. She posted on social media that she was with a new man and they were engaged to be married. The truth of it was that her so-called fiancé was already married. He told her he was a widower, but his wife wasn't dead. Rather, she was just in another country taking care of an ailing family member. When she returned, everything hit the fan, so to speak. My ex-wife's engagement was called off, but this was a moot point given that her AP was already married. They couldn't get married anyway. After that, her social media posts seemed to become quite erratic. She was posting about how she had lost her soulmate. 
but what I think she was upset losing was her wealthy AP. It was all about the money. This guy was going to help her get to that lavish lifestyle much faster. Meanwhile, after my divorce, I reconnected with the girl from the past whom I had originally cut things off with just before meeting Katie. The two of us were friends for a while before we realized that we were finally in a place where we could give this second try. She knew about my divorce and was sympathetic. When word got back to my ex that I was back with this particular woman, she went bliss and started blasting me all over social media. She spent so much time blasting me and her AP over all her social media that her job started to become in jeopardy from what I heard. My wife was put on probation at her place of work, they were a public company, so things she could post could be used against them in some way. I just chose to shut down my social media for the time being because reading her post was doing nothing but causing stress for me. As far as I know, she has been moved to another department and isn't making as much money as she once was. This is all on my ex. If she had just been happy for what she had, then all of that could have been prevented. My current girlfriend and I are talking about marriage but are trying to take it very slow right now. The last thing I want to do is run into anything without being completely sure. I don't want to make the same mistake twice. OP, it's almost poetic to think that you ended up in a relationship with the girlfriend you were with all those years ago. It's a shame that you had to go through your ex cheating on you followed by divorce to get back to her. No one should have to go through that. Your ex truly is a piece of work. She's lucky that she didn't lose her job completely for having a relationship with former client and using her work computer no less. In my opinion, they should have fired her the second they found out about it. However, again, this is just my opinion. It's almost laughable that her relationship with the AP turned out the way she did. What did she expect from someone willing to sleep with a married woman? I imagine most people with any sense aren't going to be apprised he was lying the entire time just like your ex was. Good on you for moving on and taking it slow with your new girlfriend. It seems like the two of you have something special. Of course, things could change, but this is the point of taking it slow to make sure no mistakes are made as you mentioned at the end of your post. Now for our next story, I, a 49-year-old male met my wife a 49-year-old female when we were in our mid-twenties. We were friends for a while before we decided to date. The two of us dated for around a year, which isn't that long in the grand scheme of things, but at the time, it seemed like we had been dating long enough. She mentioned us getting married and I said I wanted to wait a little longer. Within a few months, I finally was ready to propose to my then girlfriend. She accepted and the two of us started planning a wedding. It was around this point I should recognize the red flags, but I didn't. Why? Well, I was in love. See, my fiancé wanted a huge wedding. While I understand it was a special experience, I didn't see the point of spending a couple of grand on what was essentially one day. I ended up convincing her to have a small intimate ceremony. She seemed alright with it at the time, but I think as the months and years went by, she almost started to resent me for talking her into that. The thing is we couldn't have afforded such a wedding at the time. I suggested that one day we could have the wedding of her dreams one day if we decided to renew her vows. This seems to please her, but again, I felt like this resentment was always there just lingering beneath the surface. Was I the most romantic guy in the world? No. But I tried hard to keep the romance alive by doing little things for her over the years. And it wasn't like my wife didn't know this when we got married. We also didn't have kids, so there wasn't that pressure hanging over us. The years passed and by the time we were in our 40s, we had been married for almost two decades. Things had gotten stale for the past year or so, which led me to plan a romantic night out. I even asked my sister for help because like I said, I wasn't very romantic, it ended up not going anywhere. My wife never came home that night, and when she did, she said that she had stayed at a friend's house they had been drinking, so she figured it was safer for her to just spend the night there. I saw no reason to not believe her, so I took her at her word. The next night, I tried again and we had a pleasant dinner. When I tried to initiate intimacy, she brushed me off saying she was too tired. Again. 
I didn't think too much of it, we both worked a lot, which was why we were finally able to afford the lifestyle we were currently living. This trend continued and it got to the point where I had to ask myself if I was going to continue to believe her stupid lies, which were lies. I reached out to her friends to see if she was there, but they covered for her. I shouldn't have been surprised. The only way I could think was to directly confront her about her lies and asked her if she was cheating. To my surprise, she admitted everything the night I confronted her. I think I was in shock that she just straight up told me that she was cheating. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting, I think I thought she might try to deny it and tell me that I was wrong, but she didn't do any of that, so I asked who it was and how long it had been going on, he was a family member of one of her friends she met one day, it was an instant attraction, and he was so romantic there it was the one thing that I could never manage to do. I did try, but my wife didn't think that I was trying hard enough this guy was everything I wasn't and more. She claimed our marriage ended that night and what began was the divorce process. It wasn't a bitter divorce, we agreed to split everything down the middle. The house would be sold and we each take half, this seemed like the best option for us to get away from each other quickly. Once everything was final, I bought a condo with the money we split from the joint account. I still had a decent amount left over that I was going to keep for a nest egg eventually. The house sold and I put that money away as well, you never knew when you were going to need it. My ex ended up doing the exact opposite, she took her money and bought an even bigger house than the one we lived in together, then I heard that she was planning a wedding, a very huge wedding I might add. It was the wedding she had always wanted I was having flashbacks to the wedding we had all those years ago. My ex had resented me for all these years because we never had the wedding she truly wanted. As embarrassing as it is to admit, I did look at the pictures on Facebook afterwards, and my god, it was a huge affair, everything looked so expensive. I can just imagine how much money she spent on the whole thing, including the dress. At that point, I knew I had to take a step back and stop obsessing over this woman who was my ex. I focused on spending time with my friends and family, which helped. I assumed my ex was spending time with her new AP. Turns out though, not everything was great, I learned that a year after they got married, they were in debt. My ex spent the divorce settlement on the expensive house and expensive wedding making it so she had nothing left. Her job did bring in a decent amount of income. My ex was the only one making good money in the household because the AP was a bum. She dared to reach out to me to see if I could lend her some money. My ex played on our past relationship and the memories we made over two decades, but I wasn't buying it. I told her that it wasn't my problem that she spent all of her divorce settlement on pointless crap. I hung up on her and proceeded to receive at least three more calls from her that night, along with three very nasty voicemails. After I listened to them, I just laughed and played them to my friends to show how far she had fallen. They all found them as funny as I did. My ex truly had no shame or was just that desperate, I don't know if she ever truly believed that I would give her the money or not, even if she had reached out to me a few months prior, I still wouldn't have given it to her. At no point was I ever that desperate, I blocked her number that night because I didn't want to hear another word from her. We were done, she cheated and wanted to go be with her AP who was the new love of her life. If she had planned better, then my ex would have money just like I still did. Most of my family and friends were happy to see her go, I wonder if they had ever liked her or just tried to get along with her for my sake, it didn't matter anymore, though, because my ex was a part of my past, and that was where she was going to stay. OB, you made the right decision all those years ago not to have an expensive wedding, it's only one day out of your entire life, it's not to say that you can't make it special, but rent a wedding dress, don't get a hugely expensive venue either. Make it a nice and small intimate affair, the one thing I'll give your ex is that she did own up to it right away, it doesn't change the fact that she never should have cheated on you in the first place but at least she didn't continue to lie even when the evidence was right there. It's quite ironic that your ex was finally able to plan the wedding of her dreams but it ended up being what was truly her downfall. She probably realizes now that it was a bad choice to waste all that money, 
not only on a huge house, she probably didn't need, but a huge wedding. To think she reached out to you for money means she must have been desperate. Good on you for shutting it down and leaving her to deal with the consequences. She made her bed of debt, and now she's going to have to lie in it with her bum of a husband.